Hey everyone, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips To Go. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over a couple of questions that people were asking me about Gala Nodes. So let's get into the video. First off, I just wanna say shout out to everyone in the private group. Um, you know, people in the private group are doing a lot of great things. Uh, the group is growing, uh, both my open group and my paid group. So just wanted to say shout out to everyone there that's contributing and doing their thing. Um, I know a lot of people were talking about a lot of the meme season and the meme coins. So um, I just want to say congratulations to all of the winners out there and uh, people who took action. So anyways, let's get into Gala Nodes. A lot of people were asking me about Gala Nodes. Is it worth, um, you know, the investment? Okay, so I talked about Gala Nodes earlier. A lot of people got onto them. And th my take on it right now, Gala Nodes are $10,000. So when I look at an ROI or if I'm going to be putting my money or my investment, I typically like to look at, um, you know, anything speculative or just at anything in general with, you know, w w in terms of timelines, right, for ROI. I typically look at, okay, can I make my money back in three to four months? Okay. But within crypto, crypto moves fast, right? And also, typically when you're in crypto, you make these plays where if you can bank and sit on, or if you've made money and shout out to Bali Mons because, you know, uh, when I look at people in my group, in my private group or, or free group, there's action takers and the people who, you know, kind of sit and wait. But, you know, if you're if you're a quick action taker, you make moves, you make great moves. And, you know, shout out to Bali Mons because I've kind of been watching his journey. And what I see him doing is he's a quick action taker. He'll get in early, make that three, four, five thousand, ten thousand, fifteen thousand and reinvest. So this this video is based on his question about Gala Nodes. So with Gala Nodes, they're ten thousand dollars right now. Do I think they are worth it? You have to do your own research on this, because personally, I think it's worth it. Uh, a couple of reasons why. Right now, they're ten thousand. But if you could hold off on making that ROI, that return is not three to four months. Okay, so. The more nodes that get online, the less rewards you get. Right now, when I first got into Gala nodes, I think there's only a thousand nodes online. Right now, I think there's about maybe anywhere from 5,000 to 8,000 nodes online. Now, some people were saying, well, it's not a great idea to get into Gala nodes because there's a, a Gala halving. So a halving is like a Bitcoin halving where your, your rewards are gonna be diminished in half. But the great thing about Gala nodes is they listen to the community. OK, as a Gala node operator and operating these validators or nodes or, you know, founders nodes or whatever you want to call them, you have voting power. The more nodes that you have, you actually have get you get more voting power. Now I've got uh, licenses for multiple nodes and you can see in my dashboard here that when something like this happens, you know, they listen to the community, you know, they're kind of like community agnostic where they're listening to the community and saying, okay, well, what are people talking about? Uh, let's get an AMA, what are their concerns, right? So that's the thing that I really like. And if you're familiar with um, communities and Discord groups, if you join the Discord group, you'll notice that uh, a lot of the staff are in there and just answering a lot of questions and listening to people, right? And that's why they have all these AMAs. So they're really great with the community. And people are asking, well, how much can you make? So right now, Gala is not as at all time high. I think Gala nodes, the Gala token was roughly around 0.34 at an all time high or maybe 0.32. So at most, I think on a daily basis, because I have multiple nodes, I was getting roughly about three to four hundred dollars a day now you have to take into calculations and do your math basically uh, you know as gala increases the gala token increases in price more people buy and what I've seen like is a rush into these nodes when gala goes up high so there's a lot of events and I talk about timing and getting into the market properly right if you're getting into a cryptocurrency and there's uh, multiple events that are going to happen which makes it bullish to get into or you're kind of planning for the future I think that's a great time to get in because when there's fear right now when the markets are on a dip but we all know that gala is coming out with some great um, products They've invested into an art house company. I forgot what it was called, but I'll show you on my PC soon. Everything, you know, the rewards, potential, etc. But it's coming into an event and that event being Mirandus. So Mirandus is one of their lead games that they've been developing 
uh, for the last couple of months or maybe the last year, and it's supposed to be one of the you know one of the one of their milestones and great accomplishments that they're coming out with uh, Mirandis for the game. But you know when I look at NFT plays or DeFi plays, mostly in NFT. So with NFT gaming and LAN and blockchain games, right? If you're in the deeds and the LAN kind of NFT business, the way I look at it is there's going to be an NFT bubble, right? I, and I said this with NFT plays, you know, whether you're just general NFTs, selling characters, etc. I'm really big on Ecomi. Now, Ecomi OMI, I think, is going to do really well because they've got funding, they have partners, they have a big team, they have a strong community. Now, there's other NFT plays that sell land and etc. They don't have much as, or a large community. And the problem I see with a lot of NFT companies or plays or blockchain companies that are getting into it that don't have a big community and that are starting small is cash flow and money. If you don't have the proper investments and funding, uh, I just think you're going to have a hard time. You know, that's my personal opinion. But if you don't have cash flow coming, that means that you don't have enough developers. You know, you have a great roadmap, but you can't. Can you fulfill those promises to your investors? Because you can say you could do all these things, but how many developers can you afford to hire if you don't have the proper cash flow funding investments, right? And that's why when I looked at Gala Games, the CEO of Gala is actually is Eric Schemeyer. Hopefully I didn't butcher his name, but he is the ex co-founder of Zynga Games, a publicly listed company on the Nasdaq. Okay, and you could Google Gala Games, you could Google his name, he's on LinkedIn, he's got great experience, very transparent team. The thing that I like about it too, aside from you know having experience in gaming uh, with Zynga and all that stuff, is you know the team is completely transparent and they have enough funding and the products that they're out there are shown on OpenSea as you know as some of the top collectibles in the NFT space just for one game which is Townstar. So imagine as they roll out with different games. Okay, so you know and that's a great thing about Gala Games. It's just not one game. And one piece of land or one character that you're selling it's the ecosystem of gala games that gives investors the opportunity to 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 enjoy or look forward to you know we're talking about town star mirandis nft drops you know the list of products gala nodes right there's just a lot of stuff that's going on and especially because they listen to the community that's one great thing that i like about gala nodes so before i talk your ear off you know let's just hop into my pc i'll talk a little bit more show you some more visuals how much i make how much i was making at the high how much i'm making now and where i see it going so let's just hop into my pc and uh, we'll continue off for there all right so we're into my my mac here and right now gala games is on actually on the rise com considering that there's a red sea out there in the market so we're at zero two five and the all-time high for gala games was zero three four Okay, so the market cap rank is 254. The market cap is 193 million. So there's a lot of room to grow within this space. Okay, so um, like I said, when you look at NFT plays or, or gaming plays, one thing I like to do is just come over to OpenSea. And when you come over to OpenSea, um, yes, you know, you have to build your way up to there to get uh, your games more known. But if you come over to, you know, virtual worlds, you'll actually see the top collections of virtual worlds because you want to make sure that the company you're investing into um, has their product out there and people believe in it right and uh, gala games has proven that so if you come over to virtual worlds you'll actually see townstar okay now you look at all of the items 8.1 million items 13,000 owners average price 0.05 eth the volume trade is 799 right so this is great because you could look at you know everything here that's listed just for town star so this is actually this arrow town towers for i think a new game so this falls underneath the gala ecosystem but this is for a game that is actually coming out i think it's fort fort something but uh here this is actually for mirandis so these are stonecraft shops um simple tannery large stonecraft shop etc so let's go back to the price. So we're at 0.25. We had an all-time high of 0.34. Now, where do I see Gala going? Okay, and, and I said this before. If Gala can come out with their product, develop um, Rand is pretty fast, and develop 
everything on the roadmap. And the great thing about, like I said about about uh, Gala, is that it's just not about Mirandis. They've got, I think, two or three other games. So they got Fortified, and Fortified basically it's an epic PvP tower defense game. So if you actually look at that picture that was on Open Sea, that little tower was a defense tower. So that's a great thing I like about. Uh, Gala is that they're not just building one game. So they've got Townstar right here, Townstar right here. They have Mirandus and Fortified is coming. Okay. So as they continue to build and keep the community updated on everything that they're doing, I, I think this is great. You know, if you look at the, the latest Twitter tweet that they have, so we have town star players all over the world, but we don't have any in Antarctica. If you look at the map, check out this. It's it's amazing, you know, how many players are playing Townstar. So this is, gives you a great indication that Gala Games, in my opinion, isn't going anywhere. They continue to develop great games, community agnostic, listening to the community, voting powers. Um, you know, those are all good things in my books. And if you look at this, so the latest piece of news that they have is this so gala games invest in concept art house right so like i said when, when it comes to nft plays and you're looking for companies that, uh to invest into in the blockchain world or realm of things and i think blockchain gaming is going to get so big because when you're within blockchain gaming people are going to understand that instead of playing on microsoft or sony you're playing these regular games but if you can play these online games and you wake up in your own fantasy world. You own these pieces of items. You wake up and, and you make a, a, a hut or a tower, a defense tower that you spent hours and hours onto it on the blockchain. You own that tower. And whatever you want to do with it later, if you think it's it's great for passive income, you want to sell it because it's been upgraded, you own that. That's minted, right, on the Ethereum chain or what or or whatever chain that they're building on. So I want to get back into this. Like I said, you look for NFT plays where, you know, the company like Gala Games is spending their money and investing, right, to help better their products. And if you, could, if you look at the last article here or tweet that they said, Gala Games invests in Concept Art House. Okay, so Gala Games, Concept Art House. Now, if you're not familiar with Concept Art House, so basically what they're doing is they hired, you know, they have a dedicated team, Concept Art House, to help them with the design of everything. Look, Gala Games is proud to be part of the revolution of empowerment by giving true ownership and control back to the players and, of course, making games. It's moment like today's announcement that makes us truly love what we do, and we couldn't do it without you to the loyal supporters. So we are ecstatic to announce that we have made an investment in Concept Art House, the most celebrated art production company in the industry today. So if you've ever played any of the games from the company's in the image below, then you'll already experience the stunning work of the stellar production company. Now, look, look at what ha they have designed. Blizzard. If you're not familiar with Blizzard, okay, I think they have Call of Duty underneath World of Warcraft. All right, so they've got Call of Duty, Blizzard Entertainment, which is huge, Warner Brother Games. Some of them that really stand out here is 2K2. 2K is a game that has been played so big. Hearthstone, PUBG, right? Uh, Ubisoft, to name. And if you look at this, Clash of Clans, Fortnite, Battle Royale. So they're doing big things. Now let's get into rewards. I know everyone's looking at how much can you make. So let's get into this. Right now we are at 034. Sorry. Right now we're at 025. All time high. 034 okay so let's go into my dashboard so when you come over here in into your app doc gala games etc so you just log in here now after you log in you can see that you know my balance of gala is 44,000. and when you log in you every night you get this so you mined you know 5430 so let's just pull out the calculator all right so i've got seven nodes online right now uh not all of them are online uh, just because I'm pretty lazy. I haven't had time to put on the last one. So let's come over to calculator. So let's come over to our calculator. Uh, what was that? 5430. So 
every night or every day around 10 and 15 Eastern Standard Time, you're getting about 775 gala uh, rewards a night. So if you multiply that by 0 0.025-ish, you're getting $20 a day. Okay, so $20 a day times 30, you're roughly getting about 580 US dollars a month. So now a node costs you $10,000. So let's just do 10,000 divided by 581. So that, that is your ROI is going to take, that's going to take you 17 months. Mind you, when it comes to the gallon nodes, um, you have to look at it different ways because this is going to be an NFT. And we all know that typically when you have an NFT, you typically like to hold on to it as it appreciates in value, kind of like real estate, right? But it's, um, you know, it's a non-fungible token on Ethereum blockchain or on chain that you own and that's minted to your address that you own. So the way it works with founders nodes, and these were called grandfather nodes before, is that for every node that is sold, it goes up, you know, $100 after every 100th node. Now, the last node, they only have 50,000 founder nodes, okay? When the last node goes for sale, it's going to be worth 33,000, okay? So if you look at this here, this is on the Discord chat underneath founders nodes. Look, node number 27,017, the current price is $10,000. The nodes left is 82. The next price after the increase, after these 82 have sold, it's going to go to 10,100. So if you go back, and like I said, um, I think I bought them around 2,000. They just keep selling. Look, if you look at this bot and you join, like you can see, sold, 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 sold. Look, and they keep selling. Sold, sold, sold. Right? And, and uh, this is great. So sold, 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 sold. But they're, they're going hot. Now, would I recommend getting in them as the price is low? You know, not financial advice. I, I think they're great investments. It's just... The return is a little longer if you're just looking at, you know, the basic ROI perspective. But as this gets to the last node, 50,000, the advantages of getting into it is that it's an NFT. Minimum, it's going to be worth 33,000. But as Gala Games continues to build what they're doing and comes up with great games, like I said, I said this before in my group, if, they, if Moranis is a hit and all of the games that they create becomes a hit i think gala is going to do very well and these nodes these these founders nodes are going to be worth a lot more than thirty three thousand because they are going to be owned by you as an nft now you can see look so you know you minted this these are my daily rewards right because i have seven nodes online okay i've got seven nodes now the great thing about this is they do random nft drops so as a gala node holder you get random NFT drops that you can sell on OpenSea. Look, I'm going to show you everything in my chest here. So I come over here and I could actually, you have 17 items tap to collect. So let's tap to collect. You can see all of these things that I have. One thing that was really cool, uh, I think it was like one of my first NFT drops that I got was this. It was the Elon Musk. Let's go. So if you actually come over to OpenSea, you can see that they have the Elon Musk NFT from Townstar selling for $30. And if you come over to my node, and if you come over to my node, you can see that I received 11. So some people that have one node get two or three of these. It really depends. They do these drop, but look, I, you know, I've got uh, one of these, two of these, one of these, these, these arrows here. I think they're selling for 30 bucks. So one thing that you have to remember is that you need Ethereum to mint these or take these off now i'm going to show you when i select all it's going to cost me 700 dollars to take these off that doesn't include sending it to uh, my wallet after so now they are fixing this because they did an uh, agreement or partnership or they with flare networks now that's going to help with this gas fees right because everyone knows that ethereum gas fees are a problem and that's why binance smart chain is doing well so let's get into my soft node so so with soft node basically you get a gala game soft node when you log in we come over here to the dashboard and you can look so i've total mined you know uh, eight nodes online it says progress towards goal 
um, is here. So basically, your node has to be on, I think, for six hours. And I host these on uh, cloud hosting providers. And I literally do nothing. I made a video and I think I spent about literally five minutes in the last three months managing these. Okay. So they're very passive. Right. And I know that they said that you shouldn't be looking at the Gala nodes as as passive income, but a lot of people do. Now, if you look at Gala Games, this is what I was talking about, um, the voting, the voting power. So as you own, because you own Gala nodes, you have they're kind of exactly uh, like voting power, like whether it's a sharing master node or a dash master node, you have um, polls that you can do for for voting rights. Now, when they had a poll to say, hey, did you do you want to keep the reward system or cut them in half, um, or do you want them to to be gone? And basically, everyone was like, ninety nine percent of people were like we don't want rewards cut in half. So now there's no such thing as a gala having, and there's going to be no rewards that are going to be cut in half. Like I said, you're roughly making about twenty dollars a day. Now let's say when Mirandis and four to five and all these different games come out and the integrations and all of their partnerships let's say you know let's say you know you're minting um seven what was that 800 gala rewards per one node right and let's say Miranda's comes out it's a hot game what do you think the price is going to do it's probably going to go from zero to five not financial advice but it might go from zero to five to zero four zero five let's say you multiply that by zero five uh, you're making forty dollars a day times thirty. Uh, you're making twelve hundred and thirty-seven dollars US a month, right? So the more nodes you have, great. So that's my take on Gala nodes. I personally think it's a it's it's a great investment if you can if you have the money to to sit on because, like I said, it's not that the value of the Gala node isn't going up. It's actually going up every time they make a sale. So that's one thing. The other thing is it's it's an NFT, plus you get drops of NFTs. And let's say you get an NFT drop that is worth $1,000 or whatever, that's a bonus. So like I said, the more games that come out, these founder nodes, you're going to have the ability to get drops from different games, right? So I've had drops for Mirandis, I've had drops for Fortive, and also for Townstar. So those are some great things. Anyways, that's it for the video. I hope you liked the video. Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.